Here's a quick look at significant digits. So in here, we've got to remind ourselves that all non-zero digits are significant, so those are easy. It's the zeros that we have to watch for. And you've got to watch for the positions. So first off, we're looking for zeros at the front, zeros in the middle, zeros in the ending, and they have different um, situations. And just remind yourself also that the more significant digits you have in a number, the more precise it is. So if we were trying to talk about accuracy and precision, Precision goes along with significant figures. So the position of the zero is kind of important. So we can see here's a bunch of different zeros in here. So in this number, anything that's non-zero, that's definitely significant. So the three and the five and the zero. Uh, I mean, three and the five and the two. But what about these other zeros? So some of these zeros are at the front, and you can see the 0, 0.00. Some of those zeros are in the middle. That's the zero between the five and the two and the other zero at the very end. So I've kind of color-coded those and we can see that these ones up in the, here in the front. So it doesn't matter whether it's before or after the decimal point, they're just at the front of the number. Those are never significant, okay? Never significant, they're just placeholders. Okay, the ones here between two other significant figures, okay, those are always significant because the uh, uh, these non-zero digits are significant, so the one in between has to be significant. And then the ones at the end, okay, those are going to be ones that are significant if there's a decimal point. So in this case, this zero would be significant because of the decimal point way over here. So this would be a five significant figure number. Now some other examples here, okay, just look at them for a second and decide whether you think they are middle numbers or end numbers or front numbers and whether they'll be significant. Okay, so if you said that the uh, significance, okay, those non-zero numbers are definitely significant. Okay, that, that's a middle zero, that's significant. This is an ending zero um, after a decimal point with a decimal point there, so that is definitely significant. Five significant figures here. Okay, this uh, zero, zero, Okay, those are ending zeros. Ending zeros are significant if there's a decimal point, so that's a four significant figure number. These zeros here at the end, again, they're ending zeros, but there's no decimal point, so this is only a two significant figure number. Okay, only the seven and the five are significant. So we can just say five significant figure number, four significant figure number, two significant figure number. Okay, so take a minute and think about this. Um, just go ahead and pause, and then I will start it up and go through the answers. Okay, here we go. Okay, anything that is a non-zero uh, is definitely significant. So those are middle, so they are also significant. That's six. This one is uh, has to be significant. These others are at the end of the number with a decimal point, so they are significant. These have to be significant. These other ones are front of the number. Okay, front of the numbers are never significant. So this is a three significant figure number. Six has to be significant. These others are all at the end of the number with a decimal point. So they are all significant. So that's five significant figures. The six has to be significant. The zeros at the end of the number with a decimal are. Zeros at the front of the number are not. So three significant. Okay, all the non-zeros have to be significant, and that makes that a middle zero, so that is also significant. And this last one, the zeros are significant because they're at the end of the number with a decimal point, so that's a three significant figure number. And that's the idea.